1995's Ghost in the Shell was a bombshell upon release, a groundbreaking anime that set the stage directly for The Matrix and was the peak of the cyberpunk genre. Yet his themes are very much classic sci-fi, ultimately about the age-old idea of using artificially created life to ask what being human really means. This movie follows a major in the Internal Investigations Unit in a futuristic version of Japan. Most people in this feature have some robotic enhancements, but others like her are ghosts, or fully cybernetic bodies run by a digitized consciousness. Lately, her team has been chasing an advanced and sentient computer virus called the Puppet Master, which has been hijacking ghosts, committing all kinds of crimes, and then leaving its hosts empty shells when cornered by the police. Along the way to finding this Puppet Master, the Major even finds hacking victims that look exactly like her. Ultimately, this case isn't just about stopping a hacker, but the major finding out what humanity she ever really had. I can't speak for how well this adapts the manga of the same name. As an anime, however, it absolutely works. It's very imaginative, the artwork is absolutely engrossing, and it's also raw as hell. Be warned, this is a very graphic film in every sense of the word, but it serves the point of illustrating that humanity in this world goes beyond what any of us is made out of. Flesh and bone or metal and plastic, it's about our thoughts and feelings instead. That's what makes the Puppet Master and those like it so unsettling. That's exactly what it steals as it goes. While trying to become more human, it takes what makes us human. My only real complaint, if I must make one, is that the discussions on this are rather heavy-handed. While I admit that these are hard subjects to do with subtlety while still reaching people, I'm sure it can be done. I won't take pot shots at the maligned live-action remake, but I do suspect that if one really wants to see this represented well outside of animation, it is best done so with Blade Runner as well as The Matrix. I've always seen Ghost in the Shell as a stepping stone between them, and well-deserved company.